Okay, so we are going to start in constructive rest this morning. So come, come down onto your mat. Take your time as you come on down. Step your feet to the outer edges of your mat and then let your knees just relax in towards each other. And then give everything else a second to find its way. And then as you start to find that settling in sensation, body's getting comfortable on the floor, feet are soft and heavy, arms are soft and heavy. Take a moment here just to tune in and notice the natural rhythm of your breath. So no need to force or change the breath, but just notice your inhale and notice your exhale. And if you can right away, notice where in your physical body do you feel your breath the most? And then maybe tune in and see if you can just notice your rib cage. And then as you start to breathe, can you start to deepen your breath, allowing the lungs to expand and fill up and then just notice that subtle gentle movement of the rib cage with the breath. And then as you, so as you, as you exhale, can you allow your ribs to soften down towards the earth? Inhale and let your ribs expand, fill up your lungs. Exhale and let your ribs get heavy down towards the ground. Take one more cycle of breath here. And then before we move away from this place, take a moment here to set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice, never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. Cool, and then with that intention set, bring your arms into your I Dream of Genie arms or that square across your chest. And we're gonna to start to pull the elbows gently side to side. So the elbows are coming slightly across the midline of the body. <clears throat> and then once you've got that motion pattern down, add your head as well. So as your elbows pull in one direction, head's gonna turn in the opposite direction and then take it over to the other side. Just find a nice gentle rhythm here, turning your head gently, moving your elbows across the midline. Take one more time each side, and then we're gonna bring it in a little bit closer. Give yourself a little hug. So elbows in line, catch hold of your shoulders. Inhale, lift your elbows up towards your face. Exhale and bring your elbows down. Inhale to lift your elbows up. Exhale to bring your elbows down. One more, just like that. Inhale to lift your elbows up. Exhale to bring the elbows down. And then as your elbows find a neutral position, we're just gonna switch the cross in the arm. So the other elbow is gonna come on top, find that hugged position, grab your shoulders, and then away we go. Inhale, lift your elbows up. And exhale, bring your elbows down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to pull down. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale to lower. 
Nice, and then open your arms into cactus or gold post arms with the elbows in line with the shoulders, a 90 degree bend in the elbows and palms facing up towards the ceiling. And then once you've got your arms in place and you can take a second to wiggle into your shoulder blades just to make sure everything feels good, then we're gonna start to add some windshield wipers with the knees. So rock your knees gently side to side. And then once you've got that rhythm with your knees going on, add in your head as well. So as your knees drop in one direction, head turns in the opposite direction. It meets in the middle and then take it over to the other side. Take one more time each side or even yourself out. And then as your knees come to center and head comes to center, we're gonna walk the feet in a little bit closer. So feet are about hip width distance apart, heels maybe a little closer to the butt. We're gonna keep those arms in that cactus or goalpost position, and then we're gonna to start to reach. So we're gonna to try to keep our hands connected to the floor and your elbows might lift. Reach your arms up alongside your ears. And then as you exhale, pull your elbows back down in line with the shoulders. Inhale and stretch your arms up. Exhale and pull your elbows back down. One more just like that. Inhale to reach your arms up. Exhale to pull the elbows down. And now we're going to reach the hands down alongside the hips, palms facing down, press into the backs of the arms, move right into pelvic tilt. As you exhale, press your low back into the ground. Inhale and release to the natural curve of your back. Exhale to press your low back down. Inhale to release. One more just like that. Exhale, press your low back down. Inhale to release. So we're gonna stick with that natural curve of the back and now we're gonna reach the right fingertips toward your heel. Just get a little length in the shoulder and maybe feel a little stretch in the side of your neck and then pull it back up and in. Reach your left fingertips toward your left heel. Get a little length in the shoulder and then bring it back up and in. And now we'll add a head turn as well. So as you reach your right fingertips toward your right heel, turn your head to the left. Bring your head back to center, release that right hand, and then reach your left fingertips towards your left heel, turn your head to the right, and then bring it back in. One more time each side, right fingertips towards the right heel, turn your head to the left, bring it back in. Left fingertips towards the left heel, head turns to the right, and bring it back in. Nice, and then we're gonna roll up into some bridges. So take a big inhale. As you exhale, curl your tailbone up, lift your hips nice and high, reach your knees toward your toes so we get a little length through the tops of the legs and then release, roll down through your spine. Think upper back, middle back, low back, hips touch down. Inhale, a nice big breath. Exhale, curl the tailbone up, lift nice and high, reach your knees toward your toes and then roll down through your spine, upper back, middle back, low back, hips touch down. Inhale, a nice big breath. Exhale to roll up. Take your time as you roll down through your spine. And then this time as your hips touch down, you're gonna pull your right knee into your chest. Catching a light handhold, draw your right knee in circles, go in one direction. And then draw your right knee in circles, go the other way. Awesome, take that right knee and take it out towards your right shoulder. Just open up the hip just a little bit and then we're gonna pass it over to the other hand and hug the leg slightly across the midline of the body and then back over to the other side. Catch hold with your right hand, swing it out nice and wide. Bring it in over and across, switch hands towards your left shoulder. One more time, just like that. Take the knee out nice and wide. Pass it over to the other hand, hug it towards your left shoulder. Beautiful, and then release, set that foot down, take it to the other side. Bringing the left knee up with a light handful, draw the left knee in circles, go in one direction. And then draw the left knee in circles, go the other way. Beautiful, and then we're gonna take that left knee, swing it out towards the left shoulder, open it up just a little bit and then pass it over to the other side. Switch hands and bring it towards the right shoulder, just slightly across the midline. Pass it over to the left hand, open the hip up just a little bit, and then pass it over to the other hand and bring it towards the right shoulder. Cool, one more just like that. Take it over and out to the left, pass it to the other hand, bring it towards the shoulder, 
and then hug that left knee into your chest, bring the right knee into meet. So both knees into the chest, a light little squeeze. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take it into some wind relieving pose. So right knee hold, hugs into the chest, left leg extends long. And then we switch, bring the left knee in and the right leg extends long. Keep the heels hovering off the ground if you can. And then if you want a little bit of extra work here, pull the abdominal muscles down, curl up the head, neck and chest. And as you bring the knee in, your nose is reaching towards the knee. Beautiful, one more time each side. And then hug both knees back into the chest. We're gonna sit single leg up the wall. So right leg is gonna reach up towards the sky, left foot's gonna touch down to the ground. And then we're gonna give that right leg a nice gentle shake. Just get the blood flow move in, get that lymphatic fluid move in, give everything a nice little gentle shake. And then when you're ready, we're gonna switch. Set the right foot down, left leg is gonna extend up towards the ceiling and then start to shake that left leg just a little bit. Nice, one more shake of that left leg and then we're gonna grab both knees back in towards the chest, but catch hold of the backs of the thighs. And then we're gonna start to find a little rock and roll. Rock and roll the length of the spine. Take a few rocks and rolls here to massage the length of the spine and then catch a little momentum and we're gonna come up to a seated ragdoll position. So with a nice bent knee position, legs nice and long, step your feet maybe just a little bit wider. So shoulder width distance and then think up and over. So lift the belly up and over and then fold over. Let your belly and your chest rest on your thighs. Hands can catch hold of the toes or the floor, whatever works good for you there. And then see if you can just invite a little softness into the back of your body. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, come up nice and slow. We're gonna swing the legs out to one side. So left leg in front, right leg out to the side. So find your little zigzag seat or your deer position. And then hands behind the head. We're gonna take three times with a little bit of strength and then we'll fold into it a little bit. So hands behind the head. Think about pushing your head into your hands, your hands into your head. So we keep a nice upright position with the spine and then hinge from your waist, lean forward just a little bit. Nice and strong, pull yourself back up. Keep the head pushing into the hands, hands into the head, lean your self forward just a little bit and then come back up nice and strong. Nice, one more just like that. Lean forward just a little bit. And then if you notice, if this is not a comfortable position for your knees or your hips, then you might choose to stay in an upright position or release your legs altogether. But if it feels good to do so, walk it forward into a fold. Walk your hands just as long as feels good. Soften through the back of the body. Take a nice big breath in. Slow breath out. And then when you're ready, come back up nice and slow. And we're gonna add just a little side bend. So the leg that's in front of you, that arm is gonna reach up, take a nice big side bend. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, release. We're gonna lean back into the sits bone so we can swing the legs around and take our zigzag seat to the other side or our deer position. So give yourself time to get comfortable, make sure everything feels good. And then once you feel like you're there, hands behind the head, head presses into the hands, hands into the head. So we keep a little bit of resistance so our spine stays engaged. And then when you're ready, lean forward just a little bit. Hips. So if we hinge from the hips and then draw back up nice and strong. Beautiful. Hinge from your hips, lean forward and then come back up. Awesome, one more time, just like that. Come back up and then release your arms, readjust anything that you need to, and then walk yourself into a fold that feels good to you. Go as far as feels comfortable. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice slow breath out. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, walk yourself back up nice and slow. The leg that's in front, that's the arm that's gonna reach up alongside your ear. Take a nice side bend. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, lift yourself on up, and now we're gonna swing ourselves around into a tabletop position. So come on to all fours, wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Right away, curl both sets of toes under, and then we're gonna just rock forward and back. Pull the butt back towards your heels, stretch through the toes and the bottoms of the feet and then shoulders come back in line with the wrists. And then just do that a few times, go at your own pace. Pause anywhere that you want to, that feels good.
Beautiful. Now the next time your butt comes back toward your heels, stay there for an extra cycle of breath. Awesome. And then when you're ready, release back up into tabletop position, release your toes, move right into a cat cow breath. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale to round your back. Inhale as you drop your belly. Exhale as you round. Take a few more cycles of breath here. Just move with your breath's rhythm. Take one more cycle of breath. And then when you're ready, release to a neutral spine, move right into puppy pose. Hips stay in line with the knees. Reach your arms towards the top edge of your mat. Let your chest and your forehead melt down. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice slow breath out. On your next inhale, bring it back up into your tabletop position. We're gonna slide the right leg back with the toes curled under and take three or five rocks forward and back. Just move at a pace that feels good to you and just get that little the waking up sensation in the Achilles heel in your calf. Beautiful, one more time forward and back and then we're gonna bring it in and switch sides. So slide that right leg in, slide the left leg back, toes curled under, rock yourself forward and back. One more rock forward and back. And then when you're ready, slide that foot in. We're gonna curl both sets of toes under and on an exhale, find your way up to downward facing dog. Lifting the hips up nice and high and then start to pedal out the legs. Bend one knee and press into the opposite heel. Nice, one more little pedal of each legs. And then when you're ready, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to a folded rag doll at the top of the mat. So feet about hip or shoulder distance apart, make some space for yourself here. And then just let your spine hang nice and heavy. Let your arms be nice and heavy. Take a big inhale. Nice, slow exhale. Two more cycles of breath. Awesome, and then when you're ready, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to standing nice and slow and controlled. And then as you come up to standing, give yourself a second, get yourself situated, and then we'll find mountain pose at the top of the mat. So toes and knees pointing fairly forward, feet about hip or shoulder distance apart, lifting up through the crown of your head, ground down into your feet. So almost imagine that you're pushing your feet down into the earth. And as you push your feet down into the earth, your head rises up towards the sky. And then see if you can just let your shoulders soften down away from your ears. Bring a little energy down into your fingertips. Pause here in this nice strong pose and just take a nice big inhale. And a slow but natural exhale. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna interlace the fingers, flip the palms, press the palms forward, glide the shoulders down, firm up your belly, and then press the palms up and overhead. Take a side bend one way. Come back to center. Take a side bend the other way. Come back to center, unlace your fingers, float your hands down, roll your shoulders around, down and back. And now we're gonna take it into a little bounce. So we're gonna just start by popping the heels up away from the floor. So maybe they come up about a centimeter or two. It's not a big gigantic movement, but we wanna to start to feel this nice little vibration in the body. So just invite that nice gentle bouncing and then start to notice, can you invite a little softness into your shoulders as you bounce? Can you invite a little softness into your arms and your fingers as you bounce? Ankles are working, calves are working. That's what's helping create this bouncing sensation. But everywhere else that you can, find a little loose softness and then just start to notice that little gentle vibration in your body. And you might even notice it in your breath. Awesome, take one more good gentle bounce. And then we're gonna take it into a little bit of a hokey pokey. So shift your weight over to your left foot, pick up your right leg and give it a nice gentle shake. 
and then set that foot down, shift your weight onto your right foot, pick up your left foot, give it a nice gentle shake. Nice, and then set that foot down, give your right arm a little gentle shake, and then give your left arm a nice little gentle shake. And then let everything come back to mountain pose. Anchor into your feet, lift up through the crown of your head. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold down towards the ground. Inhale to a half forward fold. Keep that length in your spine, bend your knees, push into your feet, inhale, arms up. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold down to the ground. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to standing, roll your shoulders up to your ears, around, down, and back. Nice. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, and this time press firm into your feet. Inhale and sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, switch the lace of your fingers. So make it the weird cross of your fingers, flip the palms, press them forward, glide the shoulders down, firm up your belly, bring the arms up and overhead. Take a side bend one way. Come back to center, take a side bend the other way. Come back to center, unlace your fingers and back to your mountain pose. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight now, totally up to you, whatever feels better. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back to a low lunge. So we're gonna bring the knee down to the ground. Toes tucked or released, that's totally up to you. Bring your hand to your front knee, lift your chest. Pull the left hip crease back, reach your arms up and overhead. And as you reach up, think about drawing your tailbone down. So we wanna to shoot to find a little stretch or sensation right through the front of your right hip or where your right front pocket would be. Look up towards the sky, take a nice big breath. And now we're gonna take it into a light little twist. So right hand's gonna find the left knee, left hand to the hip, rotate to the left, look over your left shoulder, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then release. Float your hands down to the ground. If your back toes are tucked under, release them. One half splits here. Draw yourself back gently, keep a nice generous bend in that front leg, and then rock yourself forward, curl your back toes under, pick your back knee up. Plant your palm, step back to a plank. Right away, bring the knees down. Rotate the eyes of the elbows. Hug your elbows into your ribs, lower gently down onto your belly. Three low cobras here. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale and lower down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to lower. Beautiful, one more time. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to lower. We're gonna push our way up into a tabletop position and back to extended child's pose. So bring the big toes together, knees to the outer edges of your mat, pull your butt back towards your heels, reach long through the fingers and the arms. So find a little energy out to the fingertips. Take one more breath. Awesome, and then on your next inhale, lift up, curl your toes under, lift up to downward facing dog, take a pedal or two of the legs here, and then when you're ready, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to a forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold, exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet, inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, that's totally up to you. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, left leg back, low lunge to the other side. So we bring the knee down, toes tucked or released, that's your choice. Hand to that front knee, lift your chest, and then think about pulling the hip crease back. Reach your arms up, and as you reach the arms up, draw the tailbone down so we find a little sensation through the front of that left hip. Nice, and then we'll take it into a twist. Left hand's gonna find the right knee, right hand to the hip, rotate to the right, and maybe look over your back shoulder. Beautiful, when you're ready, release. Hands are gonna find the ground. If those back toes are curled under, go ahead and release them, and then draw back to your half split. So we're just pulling the hips back, 
but be gentle here. No need to yank against the back of the leg. Nice. And then rock yourself forward, curl your back toes under, pick your back knee up. Plant your palms, step back to a plank right away. Bring the knees down, rotate the eyes to the elbows, hug your elbows into your ribs, lower gently onto your belly. Now we're gonna take it into our drunken serpent. So hands off the edges of your mat with those nice tall cupcake hands. Inhale, lift your heart just as high as you can. Exhale and lower down. Right shoulder up and back. As you inhale, lift the right shoulder and look over. Exhale to lower down. Beautiful, take it to the left. Inhale, lift the left shoulder and look over. Exhale to lower down. Awesome, back to center. Inhale, lift your heart nice and high. Exhale to lower down, beautiful. Slide your hands in, but we're gonna bend the knees and swish the heels side to side. Beautiful, one more little swish to the heels side to side. And then let your toes float back down to the ground. Push your way up into a tabletop position. This time we're gonna take it into child's pose or more traditional shape. Knees together, toes together, pull your butt back toward your heels. Reach long through the fingertips. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice slow breath out. On your next inhale, lift up into a tabletop position, curl your toes under, exhale up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position, roll your shoulders around, down and back, shift your weight onto your left foot. We're gonna pick the right knee up, see if you can catch a little handhold, maybe grab the knee, draw the knee up just a little bit, and then release it back down to that neutral position. Hold on with just your right hand, swing the leg out. Maybe your left hand comes into a cactus position and then bring it all back in with a little control. Maybe grab that knee one last time, hug it up release it down to the ground, take a second, shake out anything that you need to, and then we'll do that to the other side. So shift your weight onto your right foot, pick your left knee up, maybe you catch a little handhold, hug it in. And then if you can, take that knee, left hand hold, swing it out to the left, right hand comes into that cactus or hopeless position. And then if you can, bring it back in, catch hold again, give it a little squeeze, and then release it down with control. Nice, give everything a little bounce, wiggle out your hips, shake out your shoulders, let go any of that stuff that we come across when we try to hold balance first with too much effort. <laughs> so find your mountain pose again here, right? Anchor into your feet, lift up through the crown of your head. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, totally up to you. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step both feet back to downward facing dog. Pick up your heels, lower your knees, come into a tabletop position. We're gonna take some C spines here. So hug your shoulder toward your right hip, look over your shoulder, bring it back to center, hug your left shoulder toward your left hip, look over your shoulder, back to center, look over your right and bring it back in over your left and bring it back in. Nice, one more time each side. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, as you come back to center, we're gonna swing those legs out to one side, sit your butt down and around, and send those legs out in front of you nice and long. Keep a soft micro bend in the knees, lift up and overhead, pull the belly up and over, exhale, reach toward your feet or wherever your hands find a comfortable position to land. And then take a second here to take an inhale and find a length through the front of the body, make a little extra space. And then as you exhale, soften just a little bit deeper. Beautiful, nice and easy. Walk your hands up and in, come to a nice tall position. We're gonna come into cobbler's pose or baddha konasana. So soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right. And then just kind of take a second to wiggle into that shape just a little bit. Now we're gonna take our hands to the insides of the knees, but we're not gonna push the knees down. The knees are actually gonna push up. So push your knees up into your hands and let your hands offer a little resistance. So rather than trying to draw your knees downward towards the ground, Try to push your knees up into your hands and let your hands resist. Hold that resistance best you can. Take one more breath. 
Beautiful. And then release and fold yourself forward just to a point that feels comfortable to you. On your next inhale, lift up through the crown of your head, let your heart follow, help those knees come together. And then we're gonna to start to find our way down to the ground. So lower yourself down in a nice way that feels good to you. And then once you've found your way down, take a second, get yourself situated, make sure your clothes and your hair feel comfortable. We're gonna move right into a supine twist. So pull the right knee in towards your chest, extend your left leg nice and long. Take that right knee over and across the body, just as far as feels good. Maybe open your right arm, maybe turn your head to the right. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, pull the right knee in toward your chest, bring the left knee into meet. So both knees hug into the chest, give a light little squeeze, and then hold on to the left knee, send your right leg nice and long. Supine twist to the other side. So take that left knee over and across the body. Left arm opens out nice and wide. Maybe your head turns to the left if that feels good. Beautiful, pull that left knee back into the chest. Bring the right knee in to meet. One last little hug and squeeze. And then set your feet down, pause for a moment and ask your body where would be your best Shavasana. Would it feel good to come back to constructive rest and let the knees drop in towards each other? Do you want a little bit more action for the hips? Do you wanna come back to that reclined cobbler's pose? More traditional shape, maybe you walk your feet nice and long or maybe you roll to one side or flip over onto your belly. Anything that feels comfortable to you and allows you to find a stillness that makes sense in your body. Start to bring your awareness back into your body. Gently wake up the fingers and wake up your toes. Invite some gentle movements into the ankles, into your wrists, maybe your elbows, maybe your knees, any little gentle bit of movement that helps wake you up and feels nice. And then if it feels really great to do so, take a big good morning stretch like a yawn. Stretch your fingers up and overhead, reach through your toes, take a nice big breath back into your body. 
We're gonna stay on our backs for an extra second. So if it feels good to do so, you're gonna walk your feet in so your knees are in a bent knee position and then just make sure your back feels comfortable on the ground. We're gonna make light little fists here. So soft fists and we're gonna locate our bony hip points and we're gonna take three little wraps to the bony hip points. So just tap, tap, tap on the bony hip points. And then we're gonna move right on up to the low belly. So underneath the belly button, give three light taps to the low belly and then move right up to the solar plexus. Give three light taps to the solar plexus. Move right up to your heart and give three light taps to your heart. And then we're gonna release our fists and then just take your light piano fingers and give three light taps to your throat. And then three light taps with those fingers to your third eye. And then reach your arms up and overhead, make your temple mudra, interlace the fingers, pointers up towards the sky. Take one nice big breath here. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, release. And then you're going to find your way up to a seated position coming up in any way that feels good. So you might choose to rock and roll up, or roll to one side. Take your time as you come up. And then as you come up to that seated position, take a second to just get nice and comfortable here. And then we're just going to stack the hands right on top of the heart, putting just a little gentle press onto the hands, feeling that skin or that connection of the connective tissue against your hands. And then as you inhale, gently lift your chin up to the sky. Exhale and tuck your chin down to your chest. Inhale to lift your chin up. Exhale to tuck your chin down. Inhale to lift your chin up. Exhale, tuck your chin down and stay here, bowing your head to your heart. If it feels good to do so, close your eyes down. Take a nice deep breath in, breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. And as you exhale, think about softening your shoulders, soften your jaw, and think about letting go of anything you're holding on to that won't serve you through the rest of your day. And then when you feel ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy Saturday.